The Sumerian Epic is the latest series from Spirit Science, and this is a series which explores the alternative history according to the oldest tablets on the planet, the Sumerian records. Now, it's curious because looking at the Sumerian tablets, we can see that a lot of the creation myths of the world that exist today, such as those found in the Bible, actually seem to come from much older stories, which are a little weird. And there's a lot of theories about those Sumerian tablets that suggest, well, either one, the gods of the stories are actually planets, or that they were actually ancient aliens or ancient astronauts who came to our planet thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of years ago and played a part in our history. And, you know, these ideas aren't necessarily accepted by modern academia, but at the same time, they're very interesting to explore and look at. And so the Sumerian epic is an open-hearted exploration trying to say, well, look, None of these are definitive, but let's explore these ideas and see if they actually hold up to any scrutiny. And so throughout the series, we'll constantly try to sort of debunk ourselves in the process and explain, well, look, maybe this is one theory here, but here's one way that that theory or idea falls through. And just look at, is there actually any evidence to support this idea that the ancient Sumerian gods and other religious historical deities were more than just imaginary conceptions in the minds of people. So my role in making this whole thing is kind of like orchestrating the symphony of everything that goes into it. If you put a title on it, I guess you would say writer, producer, director, animator, voice actor, editor, compositor, maybe? all of those things. But I also work with a, a wonderful girl named Elaine who does the animatics for the episodes, as well as the coloring and backgrounds. And then of course, there's Aaron, who makes sure that the episodes are published on Spirit Science Central. He gets the weekly email newsletter sent out and essentially handles all of the business operations. Even though he's not very involved lately in making the videos, his role is critical in giving me the time and space to focus purely on content creation. When making a normal Spirit Science episode, in the past it would be like a week or two if we're working on it, you know, non-stop. So for these episodes though, considering the expanded length and all of the additional animation that goes into them, and that doesn't even include like the 3D animated stuff, it's taken upwards of a month to two months to produce each one. It's kind of crazy really to think about how many different components there are in, 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 in producing this, you know, everything from making sure the script is really good to, you know, the, the, the voice acting and getting it into animate and then building out, you know, the sequences and all the animations. And then on top of that, you know, the 3D animations and the special effects and the particles and everything, it's, it's crazy. But I think actually what extended the series to be so much bigger than it was originally intended was actually the wonderful and loving audience that we have. Because when we first started posting the episodes, now the first one was half an hour in and of itself, but so many people responded with comments saying, hey, are you gonna include this? Or can you include that? And can you research this? And it gave me this massive list of additional research material to add to every episode. So originally, the episodes were only planned to be like 10, 15 minutes long each, uh, you know, giving us a final movie of probably like an hour and a half. But the, the result of, of this now is that we're five episodes in and we have two and a half hours of content made and we're only about halfway done the series, which is really funny. I'm so grateful at the same time though for the audience and all of the suggestions, because if it wasn't for them, the series just wouldn't be the same. It's, it's thanks to you know, the, the diverse array of, of you know, conscious minds out there who are participating just by sharing the, their research and their ideas and stuff that's really lent a lot of amazing information to the series. And so by that definition, in my heart, I feel this is a, a, a deeply collaborative project. So Spirit Science has always traditionally been made in Adobe Animate. 
It's just the software I grew up using and loving back in the day when it was Flash. And, and it's always just been really fun to use and to make cartoons with. But uh, in the last recent couple of years, that tool set has expanded and largely it's very contained inside of the Adobe suite. So, you know, Adobe Animate, then I take it from there into uh, uh, After Effects and then into Premiere from there. And that, you know, there's little bits and pieces I'll do in Photoshop here and there as well. And of course the recording is all done in Audition. Although I do raise the pitch using a program called Audacity, just cause that's it's kind of always how I've done it. And I've, I really just enjoy opening up that program cause it's so simple and clean. Well, throughout the production of the Sumerian Epic, I think the biggest challenge I faced was burning myself out by setting uh, deadlines that were just difficult to meet. And it really all compounded in actually the latest episode, episode five, but uh, it was really building up for a while. And so in essence, you know, we'd been working on this series since uh, around August, September-ish of 2018 and worked on it nonstop until April, May of this year of 2019 until we finally were able to release the first episode because we kind of had that done and we were like, we're ready and we think based on the amount of work that's done on the whole series that we can get to a point where we can release a new episode every two weeks. That was an unrealistic expectation on my part because due to the reason I described of each episode being you know, extended because there were so many wonderful comments and everything like that, I would spend every two weeks kind of just gears to the grindstone, working obscene hours to try and get the video done on time for the next two week deadline. And then immediately after that video was released, I would go right into the next one and I'd be on the script and I'd be adding stuff, I'd be researching stuff. And you know, my goal is to have a really high level of quality and thorough levels of research. And you know, the sources, as you can see in the episodes, you know, there's source tags throughout the whole thing. And it's my goal to be very thorough and to really try and take that scientific approach and try and debunk ourselves in the process. But it just became really difficult to meet those deadlines. I was, you know, I was working 12 hours a day, staying in the office till two in the morning, getting in the office at six in the morning and just still going and then just being like, my mind, I'd be working and I'd be like really focused, but the moment I'd step away, I'd be like, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> just just not just not really there. In the last few weeks we actually took a trip to Rhythmia and uh, did some plant medicine and I, I realized thanks to the ceremonies there, wow you know you should slow down and even though it's like it was sort of like the medicine almost said you know it's noble to try and meet those deadlines for the audience and to try and keep that ball rolling but like you're hurting yourself and you need to take a break. And so it's actually brought me a lot of peace to step back for a second and just breathe. And in the space of stepping back, I, I realized, you know, there was actually another project that we said we were gonna do over a year ago. It, it kind of took the back burner because we had all these other things in the way, like the, uh, like Patch Tarot and then the Sumerian Epic and, and some other things. I kind of uh, made the decision to put the next episode of the Sumerian Epic on a temporary hiatus to allow for two things. One, for me to finish, focus on and finish this other project. And the second, to actually give me time to research the rest of the information for the Sumerian Epic without burning myself out. Because there's such a long list of things that I, I need to read right now. And if I don't provide the time to read them, I feel like there's a chance that I might miss something in the Sumerian Epic. And I'm certain that, you know, it's always gonna happen because, you know, there's, how can you possibly contain all of the information in the universe in just a single video series? But I'm really doing my best to cover all of the bases. For anybody watching who's curious when the next episode will be, it'll probably be a few months from now, but I promise that when it comes, it will be very, very good. I mean, on the level of quality of the last bunch and potentially even better. And that's always my goal is to keep improving always. Oh, well, first, I really appreciate that question. And thank you so much. As, I mean, I've made videos about this before of, you know, like we're trying to learn how to run a studio and 
be an effective sort of business, but also be organic and be fluid and be natural because we're a very small team made up of people who are just really passionate about you know making this kind of content and we're very aware of the, the the way that businesses can become very structured and rigid and so we're making sure not to to grow like that to to remain organic always because at the end of the day this is a, an enterprise of people and yeah we care a lot about what we do and the audience and everything and so the the first thing i would say if you want to help support uh, this project and all of Spirit Science, please share the videos with your friends and family and see if they can take an interest. The first episode of the Sumerian Epic has 350,000, at least at the time of recording this, views, which is amazing to see that level of interest. But I think due to the scale of each episode, you know, and their YouTube videos, it's not like a TV show or a Netflix series, the views are dropping quite a bit on these later episodes. So if we can get those, the newest episodes up to match, that will light a huge fire on us to uh, to get the new ones out for sure. And the second thing, if you really want to help, we've been making and talking about Patch to Row forever. And if you haven't checked those out, I mean, they're made for you. The level of information and wisdom teachings and symbolism and everything that's in these cards and the book are really designed to support you in your ascension. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider giving them a read. And for everybody out there who's already got the cards in the book, first, thank you so much for all of your comments and reviews. On the Spirit Shop, there's a review section and I am just floored by the quality of the comments in there. It's, it's beautiful to see and it really just lights my heart up to know that something that, that I made and, and we produced here is helping people on such a, a powerful level. And we had requests for a long time to put the cards into make them available as tapestries. We connected with these amazing guys at a place called Vision Labs, and they've helped to produce every single card in Patch to Row as a tapestry. I know that that might be a little daunting at first, like which, which one should I get? But if you have your cards or you go on the Patch to Row site, uh, there's a draw a card button, and you can actually just breathe into the question, like what would be the best card to have as a tapestry? And then just draw a card and see what you get. Know that the tapestries are made to order, so they're print on demand. And for anybody out there who, who wants to really take Patch to Row to the next level and bring it into your life and, and put it all around you, you know, that would definitely be a great place to go from there. So yeah, thank you again. I mean, those are some of the ways that you can support the studio, but know that like, you know, we're making this purely just, it's a, it's a passion project, it's a labor of love. We're doing this because we really want to. And that's pretty much the motivation behind making these. Like, in addition to that, you guys have been asking for a new history movie since 2011, <laughs> since the original came out. It's just a joy to finally be able to to tell the other half of the story that we never got to in the original. So thank you so much to everybody who took the time to watch this. May you have a beautiful day and a week and life. Blessed be. <laughs>